Custom tasks in VS Code can prompt the user for input and then use their input inside the task execution itself. Let's take a look at this in action. So here I've defined a shell execution task called double, and this is basically going to double whatever the user input. So it's gonna prompt the user and then double that. Now when I go in to execute this, so I'll open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P, and say run task, select the double task, and then it's asking me what I wanna double. You can see I have this prompt going on, so I'll say ABC here. You can see that down here in the task output, we have ABC being printed twice. So it just echoed ABC twice here. Now let's take a look at how we actually set this up because it's all defined in this task.json file here. So I have my VS code, uh, .vs code slash task.json file. And the first part is the task itself. So we have the double task. It is a shell task, which is just going to run the command here in the shell. But when you look at the command, it's running echo. And then there's the special dollar sign curly brace placeholders. So these are variable substitution. And in this case, we're actually using input variables as the substitution. So when you see dollar sign curly brace and then input, that means it's going to prompt the user. The next part here is the identifier of the input itself. So you can see we are, have the identifier of my input here. And if we look down here, you can see that my input is being used twice in this execution. Now this is binding the, um, the variable here to a specific input and making sure that even though we're using this variable twice, we're only going to prompt the user once. Now, if we actually look and see where my input is being defined, it is down here in the input section. So this is outside of the main task section. There's this special input section. We have an uh, input that we've defined called my input. And then we've entered a description of what, so this is what the user is actually going to see when we prompt them. And in this case, we're going to prompt uh, for an arbitrary string. Now we could actually go and change this so we could make it a choice instead. So we could say pick string instead, make sure I spelled that correctly. And then we could get a, give a set of options. So we could do something like A, B. And now when I say run task here, you can see that it's instead uh, asking me to pick from a selection of strings here. So instead of just entering an arbitrary one, I have to either choose A or B here. So you can really customize things this way. And now it's doubled A because I picked that from the list. The inputs that you can define can be used multiple times in a single task and it'll only prompt the user once, or you can even reuse these inputs between multiple tasks. So that's just a quick introduction to how tasks can prompt the user for input. Be sure to check out the documentation for more details.